On the Hill, where we bring you perspectives from both sides of the aisle, daylight saving time ends on Sunday, meaning you are going to have to turn your clocks back one hour. If you don't like it, you're certainly not alone. Some members of Congress don't like it either. Because I refuse to change any of my clocks. Uh, it's too big a hassle. So I, I have learned either I'm going to be an hour ahead or on time, depending on which six months of the year it happens to be. Congressman Rob Bishop, a Republican from Utah, is pushing legislation that would allow states to stay on daylight saving time if they want. If having an extra hour of daylight tacked on to the end of the day was a good thing to do in the summer, it's equally as good as important as having it in the winter as well. Congressman Bishop says staying on daylight saving time could reduce traffic accidents, lower energy use, and help Americans avoid sleep loss. Democratic Congressman Jared Huffman from California says it's too late to stop this Sunday's time change, but he hopes the idea still gets some traction this year. I'm hoping we can do it, and maybe 2020 is the year to do it, because uh, perhaps the one thing we can all agree on is none of us want to have any more of 2020 than we need to. Even one hour more of 2020 is too much. I think there's something we can agree on. Uh, more than a dozen states have passed laws to stay on daylight saving time, but they still need approval from Congress. It does seem like something we discuss just about every year.